Abscast. Wales against the United States. I said that the United States were not a great side and that a previous generation of player um, was probably a better incarnation. That said, they've got willingness, they've got hunger, they've got desire, they've got Pulisic in the team, they've got George Ware's son, Timothy Ware. They do pose a threat and they do pose a stubbornness. We saw against Wales, who for whatever reason just could not get going in the first half, that the United States, when they're allowed to play, when they're allowed to get on top of you, they can ping balls directly into the channels. They've got pace, they've got directness, um, they're fearless. They'll give you a game, they'll definitely compete. They were the better of the two sides for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, could have been more than one goal up against the Welsh, who showed typical Welsh courage, desire, fight and spirit. Got back into the game, got themselves that penalty, which Gareth Bale, um, their talisman, converted. Might have won the game at the end as well. Um, all in all, Wales showed themselves to be a solid team. Pretty much, again, in keeping with how we covered them in the preview show. Um, difficult to break down. Stubborn. Um, they'll, all, they'll, they'll be there or thereabouts in every single match. Um, you would fancy both of those sides to, to beat Iran. So it's, it's very, very finely poised. I think if England turn up and put in a similar calibre of performance, they should beat the United States and they should, and well, they should, I say should, beat Wales, but never easy in a local derby. But the United States will be tricky for England, but if England approach it with the right mentality, with patience and incisiveness, I fancy them to get the job done against the United States. I would fancy Wales to beat Aram, and then it's a winner take all between England and Wales. A very, a very, Finely poised group. Abscast.